They don't have Aaron Major in the stands here, their head coach. He's had to head back to Christchurch for family reasons, so Mark Hammett is in control. And we are underway at Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane. And it's going to be, I say, a Parisi. What do you make of the kicking in the early stages of the game, Marta? I think it's always very difficult for any side when there's a lot of kicking to find their rhythm, their momentum, and get any real, I suppose, energy out of phase play. Well, the Highlanders love that sort of play, mate. Second most kicking team in their comp, so they love unsettling the opposition. Lima Samawaga would rather territory than possession. Oak and the Reds kicking's been rubbish, though. Not to put the mocker on him, but he has kicked the last 10. He's around 84% for the year. The man that's signed for Worcester in the UK next season. Looking to level the scores at Suncorp Stadium. And the first strike is a good one, so we are locked up at three apiece. It's going nowhere. So the switch of play from Hamilton to Tavita Lee. Got away from Parisi, and there is the first try. To Vita Lee back in the starting team this week, and he has got his second for the season. He's magnificent, one on one, always busts the first tackle. Got on the outside of Parisi, and it was game over. He was always going to make it to the corner. Yeah, good little shuffle to the left as he got the football with Parisi coming up on him, and just had enough pace and a bit of width on the football field to get there. And as the crowd gets behind them, the Reds forwards start to rumble. Still edging. Seven from the side. That's come apart. And they've got advantage though. And it's a try! Try to Queensland. The Reds are in. Nose over the line. Great awareness by the hooker. Fourth try this season for Brandon oh, Payanga and Right Mosa. hand side of your screen. There he is. Pluck, tuck and die. Dive. Islanders defenders in there. J.P. Smith happy to have a rumble as well. Here comes Tupo. Not going to get week. it. Lance is it. Lance giving it down to Karendi. He offloads to Stewart. What a try. It's an absolute ball. Whoa, they came a long way for that one. A little bit of doubt. They might have a look at the screen, that final pass. Look where Karembi is. Just knows to follow John Lance to the line. Gets through, only half. Through, pops that one, did it go backwards? Stewart thinks so. So does the ref. Yeah, Tenley Artupi on the inside hold, hells up the uh, Highlanders' defence, but that was just great awareness from Karevi. <laughs> Highlanders looking to find a hole, and Sapawanga inside ball, and Liam Squire just runs right over the stop at the top of Moses Sarovi. When you got Naholo out on the right-hand side, the defence is worried out there and just barrels over Sarovi. Oh, it's a red speed bump, isn't it? Look, and no chance to stop a big man or a little man. It's comical to look at, but it's not pleasant to be a part of it if that's you. Here, they've never lost five. Are they about to do it tonight? Because Lima Sopawanga. But world order has been restored down under because the Highlanders have broken the drought at Suncorp Stadium. It's been a bogey ground for them. They've worked hard tonight, and they have come up with an 18 to 15 victory, ending a five-game losing streak in Brisbane.